everyone, I'm Bonnie Cha, Senior Editor at CNET.com, and we're here in New York at a very special event where they have unveiled the Motorola Droid Razor. Yes, that's right, the Razor is back, but in a smartphone form, um, and as the previous Razors, it's very, very thin. It's 7.1 millimeters thick, so as you can see, really thin here, uh, but a very nice feeling phone. On back, you've got a Kevlar fiber backing, um, so that's very nice and rugged. It's also water uh, repellent inside and out, so if you happen to spill some coffee or splash some water, it should be all right. On front here, you've got a 4.3 inch Super AMOLED Advanced QHD touchscreen. It's really, really gorgeous, very sharp and bright, um, you know, better than previous Motorola phones, which has just QHD displays, so very exciting there. Uh, on bottom, you've got the usual Android uh, buttons, the menu, home, back, and search. Uh, on top, you've got an HDMI port as well as a micro USB port and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. On back, there is an 8 megapixel camera and a can do 1080p uh, HD video. So even though this phone is very thin, it's still very feature packed and powerful. It's got a dual core 1.2 gigahertz processor as well as 4G LTE capabilities. Uh, software wise, it's running Android 2.3.5 Gingerbread. Um, a couple of things that Motorola added is Motocast, so you'll be able to stream content from your PC to your phone, uh, such as videos and music um, and photos. It's also got an application called Smart Actions, which will help you uh, aut automatically do some tasks or optimize battery life. Speaking of battery life, it has a 1780 milliamp uh, lithium ion battery, and they are saying the rated talk time is going to be 12.5 hours. So, you know, that was one of my concerns about a phone uh, this size is what would happen to battery life. But they're saying it's going to be around 12.5. So we'll have to see once we get it in uh, whether that's true or not. I'll admit when I first heard the rumors of a Droid Razor, I wasn't sure what to think about it. But now that I've had it in hand and ha have been able to play with it, it's really fast and gorgeous. Um, I'm really excited about it. And hopefully it'll work out in performance testing and everything else. The Motorola Droid Razor will be available for pre-orders from Verizon Wireless starting October 27th, and the cost will be $299.99, so it is a little bit pricey. Uh, it'll be available in stores in November, but I don't have a specific date. Also available in November is the new Moto Active, which they also announced today. It's a fitness and music device that also has a heart rate monitor um, and can hold about 4,000 songs and also can sync with your phone like the Droid Razor, which has an app preloaded on here so you can check out your workouts and also receive text messages and see incoming calls. I'm Bonnie Cha and this has been your first look at the Motorola Droid Razor for Verizon Wireless. Hey guys, Brian Tong here and if you're looking to see the top dogs in tech face off, then you need to watch CNET's prize fight. We'll throw touchscreen phones in the ring, reignite the console wars, battle web browsers and more. So you can find it all at CNET.com slash prizefight. And I'll see you there. Woo-bah!